So our if statement at the moment is going to ask if the W key has been compressed and we want to check for collision so we're going to do it all in one so two and symbols and db sprite collision open parentheses and then we're not going to put our sprite id we're going to put in player one and this is because in case we want to change the sprite id instead of having to go and manually change it all through our whole project we can just change the definition at the top so at the top just under the include let's write define player one as and then put our sprite id of player one which is two and when the compiler sees player one down here it will automatically think ah oh, two because you've defined it swap player one for two and it's also easier so when you're looking around your code you see player one and you're like ah oh, player one that means player one instead of looking at two and then having to go and look it all up so doing a comma and then we need to do the target of what it's going to collide with and W is going to be for moving up so the only thing that it's going to collide with is this wall here and we know this one to be the sprite ID 10 so let's put in 10 here closing parentheses and doing two equal signs and a zero because we want to see if it's not colliding and if all of that statement is correct and everything is all that we want it in here let's just move the sprite player so db move sprite open parentheses player one so we want to move player one at a velocity of three pixels up closing parentheses and doing a semicolon now let's do the same for the s key or moving down so just copy and pasting it because it's the same sort of structure and the scan code for s is 31 and when we're colliding and if we're moving down the only wall we're going to be colliding with is this bottom one and we know the bottom one to be the one the line that runs left to right at the bottom which has a sprite ID of 13 so going into player1.cpp we can swap 10 for 13 and if all this statement is correct and it's how we want it we want to move down through pixels so going into our main.cpp let's go and include the player1.h and while we're at it player2 and ball.h so include and this is going to let us use it in main.cpp so player1.h closing speech marks and then do exactly the same for player2 and ball so when you've done that let's go down just just after where we create our sprites let's go and type in player1 player1. What this will do will create a class called player1 using the player1 class structure. So instead of writing player1 x, we are to create a class called x using the player1 structure. Because we've only got one player1, we can just use the same name. So now that we've created player1, let's go and use one of its functions. So in the while loop, write player1 dot movement open close parentheses into a semicolon and now whenever the while loop runs it will see ah there we go we need movement going into what it is it will run whatever is in the movement which is the up and down keys let's go and run it and see what happens now now you'll see that there's two players and player one we can move up and down and it will collide with the walls using the W and S key. Now let's go and do exactly the same for player 2. So going into our player2.h just under our destructor let's write int movement just like in player 1. Open close parentheses into a semicolon. And because it's roughly the same thing just when we copied the movement let's just copy the whole thing. So the whole movement function from player 1 just copy it into player2.cpp and all we have to do now is change player1 to player2 it's going round changing everything from player1 to player2 and changing the scan codes we're going to be using the keys i and k and we know that w is 17 so counting along the keyboard 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, we know that I has to be 23. And doing the same with S, going along the keyboard, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, we know that K has a scan code of 37. Now going up to the top, and just under our darkgdk.h and player2.h, is let's do exactly the same as in player1, so define player2 and 3, because we know that our sprite ID of player2 is 3. Now that we've done that, going into our main.cpp, just under where we've created player1 class, let's write player2 class putting a semicolon and then in our while loop again doing exactly the same player 2 movement open close parentheses do a semicolon so we'll run through both player 1 movement and player 2 now when we run it now when we run it you'll see that we can move up and down with player 1 and up and down with player 2 and they both collide Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you've learnt a lot. Bye.